Hi guys, good morning and welcome to an unboxing video. I'm still pretty sick, but I'm just getting fed up just sitting there doing nothing. So I'm using the new camera. It's the Sony A6400. The audio quality probably won't be very good because it's just the stock audio on the camera. I need to get a microphone for it, which I don't have at the moment. Sorry if my voice sounds croaky, it keeps dropping out on me. So today we're looking at the Camlink Pro. And this is basically for... Uh, I'm going to be using this Sony camera pretty much as the webcam. But I'm not going to use it using the webcam app that Sony have. The idea is to get proper good footage to use the HDMI out on it, send it straight to this, this will be inserted into the PC using one of the uh, PCIe slots. What that does is, it frees up so that you're not using USBs on your motherboard, using the HDMI directly through PCIe, there's better data transfer and they have four HDMIs on this that handle up to 4K30 and it's just um just should work better so i've tried over uh usb and you know webcams just don't look that good and even using the regular camera over usb it still looks grainy so here we go it's very simple installation it's like installing a graphics card it's always nice unboxing these. You get uh, like a, almost like opening something made by Apple, to be honest. Right, so we have the obligatory safety bag. I'll call it. We have a little Elgato badge. If you want to put that on your rig somewhere, and some safety instructions. Well, not so much safety, but basically say if you kill yourself while using this, it's your own fault. We all know what they say. Okay. And that is it. Would be nice to have a back plate on it. I don't like seeing a bare uh, printed circuit board in a PC, especially if you've got one that looks nice. Um, yeah, it looks nice from underneath, it's just that's not the angle you'll see it from. So there is the HDMI out. And yeah, it just would be nice to have a backplate on there. Especially for 300 quid, you'd... Um, yeah, but it is what it is. If only we could insert this upside down, it would actually look pretty good. So that's it, there's not a whole lot to show you really with this. I'm trying not to touch that with my hands because of the you know, natural human hand oils. I don't like to get that on a circuit board. So, okay, I think what we should do now is I'll go and move the camera to the other room and we'll insert it in the, in the PC. See you there. Okay, so <clears throat> so I've taken out, made the bottom slot available. Two places this could go. I could either install it there, which is, I think that's just too close to a graphics card. So it'll just. I want as much airflow to the graphics card as possible, especially with the 30 series cards. They need good cooling. That's why I went for this case, because of the intake fans availability on the bottom to feed cold air straight to it. So I don't want to hamper that cooling. You know, I want it to be as good as it can. Um, so I'm going for the bottom slot, which should work totally fine. Excuse my head. And pop 
the screw in. And I'll back it off a touch. Just going to lift that a tiny bit while I tighten this, just so that it sits flat. You don't. I don't like things to sag. I need to put a bracket on this actually to to hold hold this up. I've got a bracket there. I just haven't got round to it. There's not much sag on this graphics card anyway, but yeah, if I put a 40 series card in here, then the, the sag is going to be pretty significant. Um, right, so now that that's in, we can pop the side back on, which is just so easy on this case. I highly recommend the Fractal Taurus case so easy to just get in and do stuff and having a power supply at the top leaves you all this lovely free space at the bottom for the fans to help with cooling so just I think it's the perfect case or as close as you can get if I was going to pick another case the next one would be the um, the 011 um, by Lian Lee that is I think that's a stunning case as well but functionality wise this is excellent. So let's pop that on. Give it a moment to. Yep, we are lit up. And that will start up in a mo, and then we can move to the PC and show you the software. I think there's a. Um, there might be some separate software to do uh, for using this. But uh, anyway, let's get to the PC and we'll see what we need to do. <laughs> 